Hello everybody, my name is Anthony and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich as Poland. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So we had a, a shocking discovery in Krakow, which is basically the entirety of the government. Every, every political party, our allies, our enemies, everybody in Poland hates the monarch. And we need to get down to the bottom of this as quickly as we possibly can. The Organization of Intelligence Service. Poland's intelligence organization may closely intertwine with Germany's Autobund, both for budgetary reasons and due to Germany's interest in keeping Warsaw under close watch. This cooperation has become increasingly insufficient as the defunded German intelligence service has been drastically cut their number A personnel assigned to Poland. Director Tatos uh, Polinski has lobbied hard for foundation of a truly independent intelligence agency, and even the Germans and the uh, Geinhardt do not seem to entirely oppose to the idea. It would, however, be somewhat more expensive than our current arrangement. We can the Republicans, you will strengthen, we can weaken the Nationalists with you. Monarchy gets worse. Operative slots, yeah, let's, let's go with you. We'll get our own independent uh, spy agency. Mostly because, I mean, it's also weakened the Nationalists, which is happy. Which is good for us. I mean, right now we're looking at a defeat. <laughs> you hear my voice there? We're looking at a bit of a defeat right now. But hopefully we will, uh... We'll, 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 we'll fix that by the election. I mean, we still got like a year and a half until the elections are supposed to be due. So we, we got time. We got time. Uh, direction of the Privy Council, 35 days. Investigating the trade unions. Polish urban workers have traditionally been a well-organized and have long history of resistance. Together with the Polish Socialist Party, it is well known that the unions are a hotbed of socialists. But the government has been willing to tolerate them, so long as they eat away support from the more treacherous syndicalists and anarchists. The leadership have been forced either underground or in exile to France. The two largest union organizations are the ZSZ and the ZZZ. The former has mostly been sidelined, uh, more radical elements from the leadership, but the ZZZ leadership is full of revolutionaries. With the president, Kamir's Zekredetsky, uh, pulling the strings from Paris like a treacherous puppet master. The government strategy has thus far been reluctantly peace with the ZSZ and the suppression of the ZZZ, but some think that we have been too lenient in our policy. So what do we got? We can we can attempt to root out syndicalist supports in the union. We can weaken the socials, get a little bit more support for the social democrats. I think for right now, I'm going to take this option. Weaken the socials a little bit more. I think if we play our uh, like if we play our hand too heavily, we're going it's going to backfire in our face. But if it comes to suppressing the Republicans, my God, would I love to do that. Investigate the Bund. Again, is the Bund Republican? We'll find out, I guess. Let's see, let's even get that going. Yeah, so we'll safeguard our liberties. And again, I do think we want to, yeah, we want to safeguard our liberties. It'll weaken both the socialist. Actually, no, it'll weaken the Republicans. And that's exactly who I want to weaken. They've got too much power. And they also smell bad. It's it's really it's got the one to uh, punch right there. Okay, we got a war going on in Germany's Asia, Xenoku in Bulgaria. Doesn't mean that they'll probably align uh, mostly with towards Russia, which is a little bit worrying for us. Increase anti monarchist sentiment. There's been yet another surge of membership in anti monarchist organizations, especially in the League of Polish Statehood, which advocates for a heartbreak from Germany and a union with Austro Galicia. Feeding on the poor situation in Poland, and no doubt with discreet help from Austria herself, groups uh, like them are openly critical of the king, and many of their newspapers need to be continuously censored to call them for the more radical parts. These souls called Republicans have convinced many of the need for revolution, one that would throw away the civilized order and sell their nation to the Austrians. We must do our best to convince them otherwise. Isn't one Poland enough for Vienna? Look, don't give them more power. They're at 45 goddamn percent. We can rally the monarchist. I will do so because I kind of, I think we need to do we need to get this done. Yeah, so you're the interpartisan political circle. You're the Christian Union, which I believe is are they in a coalition with us? Yes, them and the authoritarian Democrats. So we do we have like a small coalition, but nothing too crazy. Where do I even want to send a spy? I, I genuinely I don't actually know. Root out resistance. Ah, you know what? Just stay in Poland. 
You don't need to. You don't need to be anywhere. Just uh, root out resistance here. Republican smuggling from Galicia. Our southern border has been uh, proved to be tiresome to manage, as the population on both sides are often sympathetic towards the Republican cause, and especially the gospel of peasant liberation for the Republicans. It is not rare for us to find PSL activists bring, uh, bringing all kinds of contraband into our kingdom over the border. Political pamphlets, books printed in Krakow, uh, funds, and even known anti-monarchist agitators who have been periodically escaped to Galicia. It's quite possible that the Nubian authorities are actively turning a blind eye to such actions, but we cannot prove anything. Okay, po uh, Austria. You do know that you're not a republic, right? Strengthen Republicans, strengthen Republicans, or strengthen Republicans. So no matter what, we're strengthening the Republicans, huh? Galicia Lord Emilia, I need to do something about this, man. Okay, direction of the Privy Council. The Galicians will not cooperate. The Laval government uh, did not appear to be too interested or even aware of the border issue. They promised to do everything to stop criminal activities. Naturally, it has been very clear they do not intend to do much. Perhaps this should be expected. The Galicians no doubt actively support the radicals, wishing to dismantle the, uh, our king or destabilize the kingdom for their own selfish gain. You guys smell bad. Okay, so you want to safeguard liberties. The future of the Geimrat. The King's Privy Council, called the Geimrat in the German tradition, has come to wield considerable influence in the kingdom. Primarily because of one reason. The King's listened to his, his counselors and is ready to act on their advice. Um, there it has always been a competition over the much desired seats in this council, with often important men vying for the chance to get the King's ear. For a long time, King August's most trusted advisor has been the venerated General von Chris, who has been a staunch supporter of deep cooperation with Germany and the Heer. The current crisis caused many of the councillors to be questioned, and the King is expected to appoint new men for their position. One who can truly guide the nation through the crisis, a job the old council proves inadequate to do. So, okay. Who do we, who do we want here? Good relation with Germany's utmost importance. The king is known to delegate much power to the prominent German council and officers. Privy council is probably composed of Austrophile and industrialist. The king has shown himself with a prominently supposed ability to advise him in a matter of state. Well, I, mean, I kind of hate all these options, to be quite honest with you. Political power plus 10%. Master can use construction on subjects' territory. Yes, I, I don't know how if that's good for us or not. License, production, speed, 50%. I mean, oh, okay, most of you actually kind of suck. 20 more Austrians. Political power gain, construction speed, or we get stability and political power gain. Let's... Uh, I, I, can't, I, I don't know which option to honestly take. I guess we'll go with more German support. I don't like it, though. I'll, I can tell you that right now. Investigating the Jewish Labor bo uh, Bund. The General Jewish Labor Bund was formed in 1917 are the ashes of the old Russian Empire, and they have uh, kept no small amount of their past radicalism. Outwardly socialist and activist, the Bund is a very diverse party in Polish politics. The right has often branded them as revolutionary degenerates, but they're not clearly uh, in the syndicalist camp either. They also are generally anti-Zionist and seek cultural and social autonomy for Jews in cooperation with other Polish liberal leftist parties. However, there are also many radicals within their rank, and persecuting and arresting these Jewish revolutionaries would be a statement that would surely win us goodwill among the right. Well, okay, you know what? Strengthen the nationalist, strengthen the, really the um, socialist. Be fair and impartial. I'm gonna take you. I don't like it. I mean, I don't like any of our options, to be quite honest with you. Okay, let's investigate the church next. Really, nothing that has been able to really bring down Republican support as much as I wanted to. I mean, you should, but I don't know how by how much. Major drug shipment cops get into Lublin. Thanks to our mole inside Polish Ukrainian smuggling networks, the Lublin police managed to successfully intercept the major drug shipment before it could be transported further east. This is so called the uh, Great Eastern Route runs straight through Poland and taking advantage of the relaxed border customs inside Middle Europa and a difficulty for police of different countries to uh, cooperate. The drugs are brought en masse to Germany and then smuggled further west or east through Warsaw, Lublin, and then to Ukraine, and finally to Russia, where the greatest profits are made. These kinds of incidents uh, all have only grown in frequency in these past few decades. Bill Creek left thousands of veterans addicted to substances such as morphine, ether, and cocaine. Uh, gifts of the German chemical industry. Even though we are now uh, more aware of the serious addiction threat posed by these drugs, the usage has only grown. 
No more reduced to veterans, especially uh, Ether, and its derivative Hoffman's Drops. They have turned out to be popular recreational drugs, used by people from high society to poor workers, and this makes a problem hard to solve. Many of the criminals are wealthy people, owning their own warehouses, buying cheap drugs from Germany, and selling them further east. More support, 25 political power. Yeah. Let's inc increase police presence. Try to stop the drug shipment, because that maybe will undercut the support for the Republicans. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm just going to believe that it is true. Okay. Contacts between the Bundes and the PPS. There's a large number of Bund affiliated trade unions that are members of the ZZZ. But in general, the Bund does not endorse cynicism and is closer and more uh, the more moderate line of the Polish Socialist Party. Investigations into the funding and contacts of the Bund leadership have not revealed anything dramatic, but it is uh, conf confirmed just how deeply intertwined the Bund is with the Polish left and how important it, of its base is for the socialist activists and the social democrats uh, to the hardline cynicalist. Even without the political uh, dimension, persecuting a major Jewish organization would carry serious consequences um, in an ever more polarized Polish politics. A better decision can be made can be easily give easy ammunition to the other side. So let's leave them and yeah, I want to weaken the Republicans. Thirty-four percent. Socialists got a very very large jump on this, but. I think we should be okay for now. 11 more days on you. We're at 45. How is that looking for moderate and slight? Um, yeah, I think we're good on this. Trials of Adam Dobaninsky. Perhaps the most awaited trial in both Poland began early today, as the man named Adam Dobaninsky was brought before the courthouse in Krakow. A radical nationalist activist of the OWP of just 22 years of age, Domenski had built himself a budding cult of personality in the Polish far right. His calm demeanor betra uh, betrayed the fiery ori uh, oriety of his speeches and pamphlets. Shared widely by Polish national circles, he declared himself as a follower of the Third Way, children of the age betrayed by both capitalism and socialism. He uh, preached for a great nation and for the purification of his soul with Christian principles of morality and goodness of human nature. And today he admitted to all of his guilt. Yes, he was the one responsible for the raid on Blasinis. Yes, he had organized a group militia and attacked the Jews. And in what had been quickly made him legendary, he had given himself up to the police only a few days of hiding. His actions were not an anarchist coup, Domenici argued, but rather simply a political demonstration. Whether due to his active actual popular support or fear of the far right, the jury acquitted Blasinski of all charges, stating that he had acted under conditions of higher necessity. Domenski's freedom did not last. Ruling was overturned by the appellate tribunal in Limburg. The second hearing of Imperial Court found Domenski is guilty of instigating an armed attack against the police, organizing insurrection, illegal possession of firearms, and unlawful destruction of property. Rather than sentencing Domenski to decades of imprisonment, the judges gave in to an ever-growing sympathetic crowd demanding Domenski's freedom. In the end, he was tried for merely one crime, illegally handling, handling of firearms. Okay, so he's got a little bit more support here. So that they are the Allen. I'm guessing led by. Uh... No, they're actually led by a different person. The radical wing of the Bund. Can I do any more of these? Okay, we're getting to church done in two more days. So-called left wing of the General Jewish Labor uh, Bund is comprised of a group of syndicalist trade unions affiliated with the ZZZ, and following the lead of exile, uh, exiled Kremis uh, Zakretsky, backed by the French Secret Service. They have been trying to grow their influence within the Bund and possibly bring the party into the Third International in open uh, opposition to the Polish monarchy. They have been mediocre at best in their attempts thus far, but a grave economic situation has made ever more Jews sympathetic to their radical gospel. We could be heavy-handed approach and outlaw the ZZZ uh, line Jewish unions, or play long game favoring cooperation with the moderate wing of the Bund led by Victor Adler. Let's support the moderate wing. We're still looking at a minor defeat here, but I th again, I think we'll be able to... To swing this over. Investigation of the church. The Catholic Church in Poland is perhaps the strongest institution after the state and the military, and is not uh, to be battled with without good reason. However, we have informed uh, we have information detailing long continuous contacts with, between church officials, even men as highly ranked as bishops and the National Democrats' exile leadership. It is no surprise that many among the church support Roman Dovetsky's thoughts 
and would rather see a German kingdom gone. But in general, the church has been willing to cooperate with the kingdom in exchange for the royal patronage. The entire topic of the verge within the community, with many members hoping to focus on the socialists instead. We will attempt to root out the national supporters of the church bureaucracy, or we could just let them, or let them just kind of hang out. Well, we know at 16%. I, I think we were okay. Anything went up. Okay. We're, 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 we're kind of fine here. Mustafa Kamil's been shot. We've safeguarded liberties. Well, now it drops a gold standard. We're looking at a slim majority. And next, let's look into the officer corps. Our final, uh, our final frontier when it comes to our investigations. Because we're not really going to be able to look into the Bund at all. We can't investigate any of the parties directly. Because we decided to safeguard our liberties. Those are the ones that are being elections. Everybody's joining the Belgrade Pact. Not a huge surprise. I guess I can send, like, maybe one of you into Glacia Lodimiria. Just, like... Actually, wait, wait. Do you have, um... No, you're just Polish. So, technically, Glacia Lodimiria, you don't get a benefit in. Root of resistance to control trade. I don't know, in Germany, I guess? I don't really know what you actually do, but... You can go hang on in Berlin. Have, have a fun time over there. 35 for more support for the monarchy. I'm going to say yes to you. Probably don't need to steal more trains. Train? I mean, yeah, no. We're, we're, we're good on trains. We're good on infrastructure. We have 24 trains. We could maybe use some trucks, but I think that's a later issue. But for now, if you enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. If you're not enjoyed, totally thumbs down. Uh, if you want to see more, subscribe. Goodbye.